In today's video, I will go solo on A6 Polaris and will survive for 24 hours. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. Let's aim for 250 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video is Mythical Giveaway Winners Show. Now, today we're going through another one, which is a bubbling garland. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright, boys, we're currently in. Polar is completely solo on a vanilla plus server. So that means that there's going to be only home and TPA. Since I'm solo, I'm never gonna use TPA, but obviously home will be very good. Now my, I do have a little bit of plans what I want to do in these 24 hours. First of all, I want to build myself a base where I will not get obviously raided. The base, oh, there we go, we got a gun already that's pretty good actually but some goals that i have for this uh solo survival video today is first of all as i just said we gotta build ourselves a base i want to make myself some raids i want to pvp i want to do multiple dead zone runs i want to get myself the boss kill also at the dead zone and i'll do as much quests as possible i actually do want to do the fishing quests i want to finish it completely that will be actually pretty cool if we do i do want to do a lot of fishing because you can get some really good stuff from there especially cash but we'll focus on that later on. First things first is I'm gonna try to get myself some guns, obviously. Build a base and start farming as much lotuses as possible. I'm gonna pick everything up that I can find because in this map everything is useful. Especially stuff for like rope and cans, metal. It's literally all can be salvageable. And they can all be quite useful. Now the server is literally just normal loot. So it's gonna be one times loot. It won't be that hard I think. Polaris doesn't really have a long progression to do. But I still think that if I do die a billion times. It's gonna you know be a bit annoying to actually progress and, and that kind of stuff. I try to find myself a populated server. This is uh, the one that I could find. Currently it's quite early. But I assume more people will join later on. Especially since we'll be here for, for quite a long time. We're guaranteed to get some PvP. Alright so after this I think I'm gonna gonna head over to the town and try to get myself oh, wait hold on there's a zombie here bro but yeah from the town i'll try to get myself as much stuff as possible food and that kind of stuff i will also try to do a no deaths challenge where i will not die once i don't know if it's gonna be possible but if we don't die for 24 hours that would be pretty epic actually but that would be a a side quest if we do manage to do it then that's great if we don't then oh well that, that's too bad so we're gonna need to get food and all of that kind of stuff as well well, somebody has been here because there's open boxes, so we gotta be careful. I actually do want to kill people, obviously. I do want to kill as much people as possible because that's the easiest way to get loot. You got yourself some attachments for this gun, that's good. I got myself a little bit of food and that, but... Yeah, now it's time to actually... I need to get myself an axe or a saw or whatever to chop down trees. And we'll start working on a base. Now, I do have some plans of a base... I was thinking either I'll do an underwater base or I'll either do a, a tower base. Now, I think a tower base on a location where it's close to the crashed ship and there's two copper coil in there. I think that would be a, a great idea because if there are people over there, I can easily just shoot them out. And there's no spawns around there, so they will never be naked. They will usually be people going to get copper coil. I think that would be a great idea too. Now, we're getting ourselves a lot of grenades too. That's actually really good because we're going to need them if we're going to raid more grenades the better obviously we're gonna have to do a lot of farming so probably the majority of these 24 hours will be me farming for lotuses because that's kind of annoying to get but if we fish a lot we're guaranteed to get a lot of the items for them or horde beacons as well one horde beacon can give you two lotuses and you basically just need two copper coil for that you don't need sign crystals or polaris roses and it's very easy to do a horde beacon here so it's just like 20 zombies so that's probably gonna be my game plan to get lotuses Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further because I got the best option for you which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago I had no clue how to do anything but after a few minutes of looking around I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from including Rust, Arc and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Alright, so this is the ship I was talking about. If we build a tower base right next to here, yeah, if you guys can hear that, there's like a, a buzzing sound effect that's usually copper coil. So if we get those copper coil every single time we hear them, we're gonna be rolling in copper coil and we're gonna be doing a lot of horde beacons. Yeah, they're always down here. There's always two. So if we hear people around here or see them, they're usually coming for those. 
A lot of people not actually know about these. Can we build on top of this? Like, hill over here? That would be perfect. So now I'm just gonna work on a uh, building base. I'm gonna chop down as much trees as possible. There are only one hit, so that's perfect. And we'll start building the base. I got myself a lot of logs. Now, the way that I'm placing the foundations is that uh, there's gonna be a Polaris Rose spawn, and we're gonna get pol unlimited Polaris Roses. Every time they respawn, I'm gonna be able to get them from inside my base. So the only thing for us to get full Lotuses very easily is Cyan Crystals, which those things are actually a bit of a pain to get to, but we're gonna get a lot of flowers easily. And we're also gonna get a lot of copper coil easily. And Polaris Roses are also very good for attachment. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the location that I chose. Nobody really goes here, so I'm not gonna be worried about people trying to raid me. But for now, I'm probably just gonna build a 2 by 2 and then we'll work on the tower later on. Alright, our exit is gonna be the window, I'm just gonna make sure that I close it every time and we land in the water. So we're gonna start doing some runs, we're gonna try to uh, get as much loot as possible. First we'll check out the ship, then we'll check out probably the construction area, then we'll go to the town. I think that would be a, a pretty good route. Alright, so we're actually going to go to the safe zone to get as much... Actually, I don't know, I hear shots, never mind. I was gonna go to the safe zone, but yeah, PvP, man. Somebody's tapping, so it's probably somebody just shooting down zombies. Yeah, we're getting closer. Yeah, I think that's a block as well. So it could be a, a pretty easy kill. He's probably at the construction site. Yeah, we're getting very close. That, those shots are super close. I think I'm gonna go from the top of the bridge, actually. Yeah, there's a few zombies around, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's very foggy as well, but I think it's clearing out now. Yeah, we're yeah, it's definitely somewhere here. Yes. Oh wait, there's another dude. Yeah, there's another dude on top of the Wait, what? He's gonna try to kill him. I'm gonna kill the I'm gonna kill this dude then. I'm gonna wait for him to kill the block dude. And then I'll jump down and hopefully kill him. Yeah, he has a grill. Yeah, he killed him. Yeah, he's right there. And he's dead. There we go, I got I killed I got both of their loot, basically. Yeah, night vision, a lot of melee clothes. Grill, ball, a bunch of ammo, I'll take the ammo, a bunch of meds. It's actually pretty good loot. Yeah, a lot of clothes, I'll definitely salvage all of these clothes. There's gonna be a lot of rope, grenades, money, a lot of stuff to salvage. Yeah, there's gauze cans too, those can be turned into generators for hordes. There's two gauze cans. Alright, yeah, let's take both of them. And that's home. That's actually really good. For our first kill, a lot of loot, a lot of metal. We got ourselves a blowtorch too. Here we go, let's turn them into metal sheets. And we got ourselves our first locker as well. Lovely. All right, we'll put this right over here. And we'll put the gauze cans, the guns, blowtorch, grenades. And we got ourselves some food. All right, not too bad. All right, so I did come back and I took all of the loot. They didn't come back either. They left some pistols, but we're gonna salvage all of those, obviously. Don't need them, but... Yeah, got ourselves quite a ton of metal from this, and a lot of meds. Alright, so I'm over at save zone, it's time to fish. I'm really hoping to get myself mainly the broken gauze musk from here, but whatever we get, especially stuff for lotuses, I'm happy. So, we'll see. I'm probably gonna spend a few uh, minutes here, actually. Maybe we'll get ourselves some progression of the fishing quests as well. Someone's shooting very close. I'm currently homing, bro. But I need to depot and I'm gonna go and see what's going on with all the shooting. I made myself a horde beacon. We're gonna do that after we kill this guy. I didn't really want to shoot and he would counter my horde and lose the lotuses. So let's go kill whoever was shooting. I think that was at the military area. Military station, whatever it is. Oh, he's right there. Oh, it was one shot. He's dead. He was at the military area. 
Oh, he had the Merlin. Oh, he had a false chair as well. A lot of sniper ammo. All right, I'll take that. Thank you. We got ourselves a dead zone uh, weapon. It's really good. I'm happy with that. All right, well, we're going to go do the Horde Beacon next. Mega zombie is down. I don't know if there's a oh yeah, there are more. Yeah, let's just kill him. This should be lost, dude. Yep, heart popped. And we should have gotten two lotuses from this. Where the hell are they? Oh yeah, there they are. Alright, perfect. Let's go. Don't know if I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use these lotuses for a filter actually. I still need to get some stuff for actually I should have everything, never mind. We're gonna do a dead zone run very, very soon then. Two lotuses for a filter, and we have the broken gas mask. So that's going to be an easy a dead zone run. I think I need to get myself like some rope though. Because I did use most of it for meds. Kind of forgot that I needed rope. Let's eat a croissant. And yeah, I'm gonna go get myself rope and metal. And from then I should have enough to do a dead zone run. I think that's literally all that I need. <laughs> All right, so we're back. I made myself. Uh, we're gonna unstack the cans. And now, yeah, I just need to get myself the lotuses and the rope. Actually, I don't have enough rope, I think. Yeah, I got myself a lot of metal, though. Farmed a lot of metal over at the, um, the mines. Yeah, I don't have any rope. I need to go get rope. Actually, I do have over here, but... Yeah, I gotta get more. Alright, dead zone time. From here, I'm gonna hope we get Bevlar, Gunpowder, and Armored Plates. Other than that, Gun Oil, I don't care. If we get Gun Parts, that's good though, but... Yeah, here we go. Alright, we're back. Uh, got myself a little bit of everything. Got three gunpowder, which is basically a, a C4 and a half. Still gotta find the Detto, so the first full moon that I'll find, I'll go myself to a military location. But pretty good start, man. I'm really happy. Still no deaths challenge. First dead zone run. So I'm really happy with that as well. I think very soon I'm gonna start roaming around trying to find myself like some raids to do. So that I'll know if there's anything to actually raid. But I did already find myself like a few bases that we can... Uh, raid later on. I think also very soon I'm gonna start working on base too. I'm gonna make myself another locker and with the armor plates we just got I'm gonna make myself basically an armored uh, locker. It'll look very cool and I do want to make myself like a full loot room of armored lockers. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves uh, an armored display locker. We'll put this right over here for now and we'll put the high tier items in there, especially the gauze mask. Walnut. Alright, so it's time to do the second horde beacon. That's two more lotuses. So yeah, let's go do it. Wait, what? Bro, I think the horde broke, no! Yeah, bro, the horde broke! Bro, a zombie broke it or something, man. Ah, oh, what a waste. Oh, man, alright, well... I think we're gonna go to the safe zone, I'm just gonna fish now. Server is dead. There's like four people on. As soon as I joined, there were like almost 20 dudes. Now so many people left, I don't, I don't know why. So until more people join, I'm just gonna fish and we're gonna get more loot that way. Thank you. 
Alright, so I actually did finish all of the fishing quests. Let's just claim them. We're gonna get a lot of money from this, so that's actually really good. Yeah, let's get ourselves... Yeah, there we go. We got so much, bro. Look at this. I gotta sell all of the fish that I have. So let's just get rid of them. We're gonna be settled literally the whole time when it comes to money. We could buy whatever we want. Yeah, let's sell the clownfish, the sakunas. Yeah, we got gold bars, bro, literally. <laughs> We're rich. Just by fishing, and we got ourselves a lot of stuff for... Lotuses too, got signed crystals, roses too. Yeah, we're gonna put all of the money in the bank, obviously. I'm not gonna take it in my base. It would just be stupid. Alright, so I'm actually gonna buy a uh, chainsaw and the jackhammer. And with that, I can make myself a drill. Just need myself, like, tape. So we got ourselves an easy drill, so... We can buy a wrench. We can buy generators, bro. That's actually really good. We need those for horde beacons. Basically, for a horde, you need a generator. And two copper coil. Generators aren't really that hard to find though, but it's easier to buy them, man. Especially since we got so much money. Yeah, we need we need gun oil for um for the drill, not duct tape. Alright, so since it's a full moon, I said earlier that I'm gonna loot military to get as much nades as possible and hopefully a detonator that's really what i want i don't want to waste a lotus on a detonator man it would just be a huge waste when I mean, there should be actually not that hard to actually get but we'll see back in base so i actually did home because i did i don't i didn't get the detonator unfortunately but i did get a lot of metal and i did get a lot of other stuff got ourselves a bunch of attachments i also got a 12.7 millimeter box so that's uh that's pretty good also raiding uh, raiding gear a lot of ammo but mainly just a lot of metal man so much metal from this I was salvaging every single knife that I could find got myself a lot of rope to all the clothes that I was getting I was salvaging them into rope so that's also pretty good. Still, uh, still full moon, so I'm probably gonna go and continue and hope for a detonator. But so now we weren't really that lucky, unfortunately. But maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get something more. All right, so I actually did find a base that we can raid. It's mainly wood, but I think this is metal. I think the the core is gonna be metal. But I do have some raiding gear. First things first is I have uh, 11 bullets with the Brenter, and I do have uh, C4 so So I'm gonna home, gonna get raiding gear, and we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to finish this raid. I had to use one of the lotuses to craft myself the detonator, unfortunately. So we did kind of lose that, but yeah, there's nothing we can do. So we'll just go back and we'll raid this base. Alright, so I'm gonna chop down myself a ladder. That's all I need. And we'll go on top of this base. And we'll raid from top down. Maybe the loot is at the top. I don't know. We'll hope. Alright, so first we'll use the charge, obviously. Uh, area's claimed, so I had to make myself twig leather. So that's two tape wasted. Alright, here we go. Let's put a charge. Yeah, we are through. Perfect. Yep, the core is gonna be metal, man. Oh, there's crates, though. Oh, there's loot. Okay, guns, clothes, tools. Oh my god, there's so much tape and rope in that one. Oh yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything that crazy though, but... Yeah, these guns are nice. Oh, there's a lot of ammo too. Yeah, these guys are organized, bro. Yeah, we got ourselves a grill and the Nico, three Merlins. Uh, two backpacks. Yeah, we're gonna actually get ourselves some nice loot from this. Yeah, all of this tape is nice, and also that rope. Yeah, in terms of tape, we profited. This one's empty. This one has some tools, but nothing that crazy. We'll take the backpacks. We can make ourselves some mercenary from that. All right, well, I'm gonna take the guns, obviously. There's two rattlesnakes, uh, but we're gonna start shooting this one. The hatch. And that shot did not register. Lovely. I don't think I have enough, so I probably have to farm. Yeah, this shot didn't register either, man. What the hell, bro? That's just two wasted bullets. Alright, this one is registered. Good. Alright, let's shoot this down. Hopefully, I have enough. Alright, 
and it broke. We are throw and looks like an empty triangle. All right. Well, I still got three bullets, so I might as well just put them in a in a door, and we'll come back with charges. I'm probably thinking that this is where the good loot is. I'm already a bit happy with the loot that we already got, considering it's vanilla loot. That tape is actually really good. But yeah, we're out, and we will come back later. We'll just farm ourselves some more charges, and hopefully we'll get something good from this, something even better than what we already got. Alright, so it's dead zone run number two, hoping for gunpowder more than anything. I really want to finish that raid. I also found myself another base raid that we'll do probably later, which is a cave base raid actually. Uh, I think that would be sick. We got ourselves, what, more ammo? Let's check out what the gun crate had. Let's kill this dude and... Alright, well, we'll take that. Armored plates. Alright, second dead zone run, pretty good. Got ourselves quite a ton of gunpowder from this one too, so... I shall not complain. Alright, so I'm over at melee as well. Kinda surprised how there's nobody around. But I'm trying to get as much grenades as possible so that we can finish that uh, base raid. There's actually loot on the floor, so somebody was here around, but... Yeah, they whoever it was, they didn't open these crates, which is why I'm here. Because those things have a high spawn chance of grenades. Maybe there's a mega zombie too, and he'll drop a grenade launcher, but... Yeah, there isn't. Alright, there we go, we got another charge. Uh, we're gonna go finish this raid now. I think it should be more than enough, but wait, yeah, one charge should be enough. We still got a 10 bullet Brenter box. We also did get one from the last melee run, so that, that should be pretty good. Yeah, the rose did respawn, so I think I'm gonna work on the tower afterwards after we finish this raid, because I didn't even build the tower yet. All right, here we go. Charge placed. Let's go back up. Let's claim that charge. Here we go. Come on, man. Broke the leather. Didn't break the, uh, the doors, unfortunately. We're gonna have to raid with the Brenter now. Really hope that we get something out of it, man. Oh, we're through. There we go. Uh, some crates. Pink beret. This one's empty. A bunch of food. And a bunch of meds. And carrots and gauze cans. Okay, well... Kind of hoping for better stuff than that. Yeah, I think this is actually the full base. Because then it's just the other door. Yeah, so this is the last locker we have to raid. And we'll be done from this raid. And it's empty. Okay. Great. Insane base raid. Alright, so that base raid, we're done. And I am going to get myself, hopefully, I'm gonna go to the haze area. And I'm gonna try to kill myself the boss zombie. And from there, maybe we'll get a grenade launcher. That's really what I'm hoping to get. And we'll get ourselves an easy grenade and we could raid a wooden base. I do know of a wooden base next to a military area. So that's what we're going to focus on next for probably the next uh, couple of hours. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves a grenade launcher from here, man. Or else I'll just have to farm... A few grenades from military, but shouldn't really be a problem, honestly. Maybe this one will give us a grenade? No. Okay, we got Bevlar. Still alright. Okay, so uh, I'm doing a trade. I gave them gun parts and they're gonna give me nades. It's actually all... Alright, three grenades, three charges. Thank you very much. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna raid them, obviously. We did a trade. I think it's a pretty good trade. Two gun parts for three grenades. Perfect trade. So that's gonna be three charges for us, man. Alright, base rate time. Let's make ourselves a lead there. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, this is the base we're gonna raid. It's just a two by two wood, but uh, it's claimed. Alright, um... It's gonna be an issue then. I do wanna raid from the top. Actually, maybe we could use the deer to actually climb up. Yeah, if they don't run off. I don't know if it's actually possible. If they go to the other side, yeah, to here. Bro, I'm gonna use a deer to get on the roof. Oh, they're running away. Wait, I gotta punch in and it'll go that way. Yeah, perfect. Alright, there we go. Easy. Alright, so I'll put a charge here. Let's get ourselves the Detto out. Alright, we are through. There's a claim banner. And open door. Okay, crates. Bunch of food. Oh, Detto's and a Lotus. Sign crystals. Bro, that's good. Oh my god, there's so many nades. Oh, there we go. That's all I needed, man. A bunch of rope. We've already profited from this. This one was better than the other one, man. 
A bunch of clothes, brute force, steely. Yeah, they don't have any guns though, but grenades are nice. Grenades, rope, lotus, bunch of food. We still haven't died yet, so the no deaths challenge is still ongoing. So that that's actually pretty epic. We're not really finding a lot of PvP, but honestly, that's okay. Starting to get quite rich. Oh, what? Bro, there's a dude here. My guy's trying to get to the safe zone. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, he only had a frying pan. I'm gonna kill him, obviously, since I'm kind of deprived from kills in this video. We'll find more later on. Going to the dead. I'm going to the safe zone to finish a few quests. Oh, I forgot to get the the actual. Oh, uh, thing. Yeah, there we go. You gotta climb all the way back up. Bro, I hear steps. Oh, yeah, there are people. Oh, my God, bro. They managed to get inside. No. There is duo, man. I need to climb all the way back up. Gotta do this quick because they could actually just come back from the top and kill me. But... What? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Oh, I could have gotten two easy kills, man. Probably left them both at one HP. He has this duo right in front of me. Feels bad, man. Alright, so I'm gonna start working on the tower now, finally. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start upgrading it. The top will do, like, four different loot rooms. It'll be pretty cool. It'll be four loot rooms, one by ones, basically. And that way, the loot will be spread around. And I wouldn't really have to worry about it. If I get raided, I would lose all of the loot, basically. After that, we'll raid that cave base that I mentioned earlier. And we'll probably just try to find some PvP, so... Bro, wait, what? There's someone shooting outside my my base. What? Bro, there's people. Hold on, let me close this. So I did uh, windows. That's gonna be my way to get out. Yeah, bro, there's a dude right here. Another dude. What? Okay. Alright, my guy had chainsaw, a bunch of carrots, some money as well. This dude. Oh, he had a see, he had a sniper, bro. Copper coil. Yo, thank you, my guy. Uh, I think this was the duo that I actually saw next to the safe zone entrance. I have no idea why they're here, though. Why the hell did they come up here? Alright, let's salvage all of their clothes. We don't need them. Salvage the bone saw, fishing rods. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're almost done with the tower, by the way. I'm just moving some of the loot up to the uh, loot rooms. It's looking pretty nice, so I'm really happy with it. So this is the cave base I was talking about. It's not really a cave base. It's more like of a, a hidden one. I'm just gonna mark it. I'm gonna home. I need to do Horde Beacon for Lotuses. And we will return and raid this base. All right, we're back. C4. Here we go. Hopefully, it won't be a lot to get in. Yeah, I knew this would happen. That's a table back there, bro. Right, I see a stairs there, so maybe if we just put it here, maybe we'll be able to go up. I have no idea. Here we're through, and... Oh, we're, oh, we're completely through. Okay, then. Perfect. All right, bunch of crates back here. Broken gas mask, um, some roses... Bunch of ammo on this one. Night vision, walnut, grenade, 
bunch of meds, bunch of food, a bunch of junk. Let's take the tape, some metal, a uh, parachute. Uh, well, it seems like nothing that insane. I mean, that's the thing with these kind of servers where they're just vanilla plus. Yeah, jackhammer tape. Oh, dude, there was a Brenter box. I saw a Brenter box. Yeah, there we go. That's actually really good. Take the Polaris roses as well. Oh, there's more up here, but oh uh, yeah, they're empty. All right, well, you know what? Printer box is nice. We did get some other random junk. There's a bed here. Let's just destroy it. But yeah, it could have been a worse raid. Could have been definitely worse. All right, not too bad. Let's home. All right, so after that, I did continue to play a little bit, but there was no PvP and no raids. I just continued farming, doing dead zone runs, looking around for more raids. Unfortunately, did not find any... But the base did last for actually much more than 24 hours. I think the base lasted for around 3 days. That's when I got a raid alert that I was actually getting raided. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.